Homer Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 28, Generosity. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR 28.3 The only undeserving man is he who is without need. All men are companions through the journey of life. Some are good companions, and some are bad. Some are stout-hearted, and others timid. Some stumble and fall. Some forge ahead, but all are of the same company. Therefore, never desert your fellow wayfarer in his hour of need. For somewhere along the road, you too will need help. NPR 28.4 The poor and the lowly are not without pride and dignity. Therefore, it may be easier for you to give than for them to receive. Your almsgiving may give you an inner glow, but it may also wound the heart of he who receives it. NPR 28.5 But when you give, consider well the deed. Is it really you who gives? Is it not more true to say it is life from giving to life? A transfer from one guardian of life to another. What are you but the instrument, the witness, the agent of the transaction? NPR 28.6 You are the debtor of life. For has it not given you all you have? If there be among men one who has received nothing from life, then let him be the one who refuses to give. NPR 28.7 The good giver gives and thereafter does not remember the gift. The receiver, if he be worthy, never forgets it. We should remember wealth and material possessions are not what this implies. It might be an aid to deal with it, however. Too often, that's all we do. Throw money at it. Or worse, demand others do it. You should be aware also that often what a person needs are not going to be what they want. You should be strong enough to understand God must teach humility. Do not get in the way or you will damage the person you hope to aid. Only you can decide, however... And be aware, you are human, and capable of arrogance as well. Make sure the need is based on what is best for them, not an attempt to coerce them to do what you think is right. Free will should never be crushed, only tamed. So, what is in the best interest of the individual might not be in your desire or want for that individual. Free will is a gift with many strings. Responsibility is never easy, but to be unaware of your impact on the individual means you failed the test God set before you when they came for your aid.